Today we're going to be coloring a music video for Trippy Red. Now just a quick disclaimer guys, I do not own this footage nor did I shoot this footage. I just converted it into raw footage so we can play around with it today. We're going to be coloring all these scenes with my ultimate LUT pack guys. You guys can follow along with your own LUTs, but I do recommend this pack as it has 250 plus LUTs in it. We're running a Black Friday BOGO this weekend, so if you guys want to grab this LUT pack, you can get an additional pack for free. That's right, you guys can buy any amount of editing packs and get the equal amount for free. So if you guys put six editing packs total in your cart, you will get three of them for free. But anyways, let's hop right into this. We have our three three clips pulled up. To get started, we're gonna go into our project, right click and create an adjustment layer and drag and drop that on our footage. I like to do all of my coloring on adjustment layers as it just makes it easier to customize, turn them on and off and all that stuff. So let's get started with the first one here, guys. We have a nice little shot there. We're gonna find a still frame that we wanna kind of base the color around. So I like the way that one looks there. Click on the adjustment layer. We're gonna go over to the Lovechi color. We're gonna open up creative and then we're gonna go over to look and hit browse. I just have the Tiny Tapes Ultimate Love Pack opened up here. As you guys can see, one through 200, and 82 different LUTs with seven additional film LUTs. Let's go ahead and pick a random one here, guys. I'm gonna go with 128 here. And while that is a really cool look, let's spice it up a little bit more in basic correction. Let's go and turn the saturation up, the contrast up a tiny bit. The highlights need turning up for sure. Turn the shadows down a little bit, the highlights up, and just the overall exposure up a little bit. And that has a really cool look there, guys. We're gonna customize it a little bit more just using some assets. We're gonna go into effects, open up preset, and apply our vintage glow preset. Now to apply this, we're gonna have to duplicate our footage twice here i'm just going to click our footage hold alt and drag up and we're going to apply the vintage glow on that there and as you guys can see it's an immediate difference all the bright areas are kind of glowing a lot more i love the way that looks then we're going to go ahead and throw on one of our grains from our film look pack i really like the way this one looks going to crop it to our footage change the size and set that to overlay and then you guys can play with the opacity as well i'm gonna put that to 65 and boom we have a really cool film look right there guys so that is before and after looks amazing all right, guys, so moving on to our next one here, let's go and find a LUT. We're going to go to the Lumetri Color again, open up Creative, and open up the LUT pack. Let's go with number 90. That is a very cool green and orange look right there. Let's spice it up some more. Go into Basic Correction here. Let's turn the whites down a little bit and turn the blacks up. Put the exposure a little bit by turning that down a tad. Add some more orange into there and some more green. And for this one, let's try my favorite film plugin, Dehancer. We're going to drag and drop that on here, and I'll show you guys how this works here. So when you put it on, I'm just going to turn off the preset LUTs, and then we're just gonna go ahead and play around with only two things the halation and the bloom so let's open up the halation here the halation you're gonna get those red areas wrapping around certain artifacts if we make this full screen here i'll turn the amplify to 100 and if i turn up the local diffusion you guys can see around certain areas up here you have those red glowing borders kind of see it with the mask mode there and then the way bloom looks on this it just looks amazing the bloom is kind of wrapping around the edges and let's drag and drop my grain on there as well. And boom, you guys get a really cool film look. You can even turn the grain down a little bit more to around 50%. And that is before and after. All right, guys, so moving into our very last one here, we have this really epic zoom in shot here. Let's go ahead and color it. Lumetri color, creative look, browse, and let's go with another random LUT. Let's go with 222. This is kind of a green LUT. I like the way this looks. Let's spice it up a little bit more by turning up the saturation, turning down the shadows, turning up the highlights, and then turning up the contrast. Kind of like make the areas that are kind of lit pop more and the darker areas be more shadowy. Turn the whites up and the blacks down and then add a little bit more green in there. And I think the orange is... Uh, uh, maybe it's more just more blue look there and i'm telling you guys right now the vintage glow is going to look really good on this let's go and apply that here preset starting to vintage glow and boom look at that light guys look at the before and after on that it looks epic and then just applying the grain on there again we have a really cool look there guys if you guys enjoyed this video and want to go grab the lut pack it'll be linked in the description below and if you guys are watching this on black friday weekend you guys can buy the lut pack and get another pack for absolutely free so i recommend this weekend is the time to buy we have a buy any get any sale going on right now like i said at the beginning of the video if you guys put six packs in your cart you guys will get three of them for free anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video i recommend checking out either one of these videos here just click one you guys got this it will be an absolute banger you guys will learn something just click a video come on click a video